Hello everyone and welcome back to more Animal Crossing for the GameCube. In what might be our last outing for this particular title. Since there are like two or three other Animal Crossings that I would want that I really wanted to play, but I don't think I'm gonna get the time before the new Animal Crossing arrives this year. And then it dawned on me the other day, hey, we didn't actually bring the GameCube version to any real conclusion so let me um let me go back and make another episode or two and um my dear eric always remember to use the bathroom before you go to sleep otherwise you may suffer a horrible fate like your poor uncle dweezel the horror mom Mim. so that's what i'm doing today we're gonna see if we can't wrap this sucker up with a nice big fat bow. We didn't get everything done that we wanted to do. You know, it would have been nice to finish the catalog of uh, fish, bugs, and fossils, but there's always tomorrow. There's always another Animal Crossing on the horizon. That's the good thing about Nintendo. Well, good and bad at the same time. <clears throat> They're like Disney, you know, they have IP that's durable, that it, that will last the, through the ages, and um, it'll outlive people, and it does. Most people who Disney was intended for originally are dead, um, or are very old at this point. And since we haven't played since October? September of October of last year. <clears throat> it's been a good couple of months. There are weeds everywhere. Hey, check it out. KK's here. That's perfect, actually. Alright. I am so sorry for the weeds, everyone. This is what happens when you don't play on a regular basis. Um... Yeah, but Animal Crossing, I feel like we've done enough here in our playthrough. I mean, it was meant to be a relaxing title that I was going to play regularly, but I failed miserably. Um, probably a lot to do with the time of year that I set out to play it. You know what? That's not, that's not fair. That's not fair to Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is fun to play every day, any time of the year. I just didn't live up to my end of the bargain here with playing it. Um, I did get a little worried that playing it every day might kind of become a little, I don't know, boring. <laughs> You're acting a little rather buddy buddy now, aren't you? Who are you? Eric, it strikes me as familiar, yet I can't quite place my finger on it. So are we friends or what? Oh, you think we are? Huh? Well, either way is fine with me, Tater. Bye and bye, did you need something? I'm bored. Ah, my dear Eric, I can't help but notice that Pell Chub. What's the story? Did you catch it? I've always wanted my own Pell Chub to have and to hold, Tater. I find them so very cute. Would you perhaps care to trade it for one of my items? Ooh, sure. Let's get some clothes. Beggars and choosers. I'm sure it's fine. We'll try it on real quick and see what we get. Ooh, somebody's mad. <coughs> Alright, what did she hand us? Is it this one? And then we pull it up here. That's hideously nice. It's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Yet at the same time, very pleasing to my eye. I... What? It's Schrodinger, Schrodinger, Schrodinger's clothing. 
I don't know if it could be either ugly or pretty. Is there a sight? What's the occasion? I know, I know. We've been doing Metroid and other things. Keep your shirt on. Touch shield crouch. <laughs> Let's chat. Let's rap like the cool kids. Let's turn our hats backwards and just sit here and chat. Now that's your problem. You're an adult. You can feed yourself. I got things to do. There's peaches everywhere. Just shake the trees. I did um I did try to play Metroid Prime Hunters, but that didn't go over so well. Mainly because I um, couldn't get the controls just right. Because that game is designed um, to where your accuracy depends on the touch screen. You tap to shoot with that game. And since we'd be playing an emulator version, there'd be no touch screen. Um, shooting became something I had to do manually with the right control stick on the controller. I got maybe about five episodes into content and then just striked it all from the channel because I ran up against a boss that we just could not. I couldn't. I simply could not defeat this sucker. <coughs> it's so nice and comfy in here. I never want to leave. I always wind up staying longer than I'm supposed to. I'm kind of bored here. Let's play a game. Hey, Eric, want to try your luck? That's a nice almond you have there. I'd trade you for it, but that's no fun. Let's play a game for it. I have four cards here. Each card has a sale price on it. That's how much I'll pay you for that almond Pick a card and then I'll pay whatever's on the card for your almond You want to give it a try? Sure. Promise me you won't be a sore loser. Pick a card. Second card. Second card says... Like an okay price. Well, I hope you enjoy your almanite. I can't remember if I've donated one yet to the museum or not, but... Uh, I could just stay in this igloo all night if I'm being completely honest. We might come back and, and, and chill in here later. Get some B footage, B roll footage. Just record for about 10, 15 minutes. And put that sucker on loop. You never know when that might come in handy for the future. Okay, I don't know what I did there. I dug a hole and rolled a snowball into it. I hear a mole cricket. Wonder if he's down here or up here. God, I wish we weren't going out on so many weeds. Look at him. See if there's anything to fish. I'm not seeing any fish. Hmm. It's disappointing. Come on, where's the fish? Ooh. I wish there was a waterfall near where I lived. I'd go sit there all day. Especially in the summer. I'd just live by the waterfall. Take those good summer naps. And I live in the south, in Alabama, you see. So there's a lot of countryside. A lot of forest area where I live too. There's a lot to explore here when it comes to outdoors. In 2019, I'm definitely going to go around to as many places as I can. I'm going to record as much as I can. And we're going to do some serious vlogging. I don't think I've, I've recorded one or two little things for the January vlog so far. 
because it's just it's cold wet cold dark and there's nothing happening so we're just staying indoors playing some animal crossing I don't know where my money rock is part of me really wants to pull up every weed and leave the town looking nice for these guys but I, I don't know. It feels like a fruitless endeavor. I guess I'll pull for a minute or two until I just get tired of it. I know they engineered ways in later Animal Crossing games for you to like have a character pull all the weeds for you through an event um, like you could find a genie lamp and the genie will offer you to remove all your weeds or was it a ghost one of those two things there was a way you could do it and it wouldn't eat up all your time all of your valuable time trains here all aboard I hadn't stopped to think about the length of time Animal Crossing has really been a part of our lives. It's been roughly 20 years at this point. I mean, let me think. When did we get our hands on Animal Crossing? 01 or 02, so it hasn't exactly been 20, but it's almost there. We finally found a night fish. I think we've caught one of those before. Alright, this bothers me. I, don't, I promise I'm not going to make it a whole episode of just pulling weeds. But something about it is calling my name. Eric, clean up your town. You must clean your town. Oh God, it just doesn't stop. And I was only gone a few months. This is what happens after only a few months? Yeesh. Hey Nook. Oh, Nook's still open. You upgraded. I can't remember if you did that before or after we stopped. Fishing run. Oh, that's a regular fishing run. Looked like a special golden one to me. Cabana wall. Oh, nah. A little too orange. It's too busy. Now that I like that, I'll take it. Oh, I bet my home's gonna be full of roaches. Yeah. See you later, Nooks. Oh, Nooky old boy. Taking away from my flowers that have somehow survived the winter months. I don't know how you did it. Everyone's lawn here is that hideously brownish green color. I was hoping we'd run into another villager or two. I do want to go down by the museum, and I would love to see exactly how far we were able to finish the collection. That would be interesting. Let's go find out. I do believe the museum is somewhere in this general area. Here's our fountain. Able Sisters. 
Hmm. Ooh. Is that is it just me or is that a bigger fish than usual? Ah. <laughs> Roll on over to the dump and drop it off. Yeah, we'll take care of that. Can you people please be a little more careful with your trash? So the uh, cemetery that I go to all the time to play Pokemon, um, people have started throwing trash down now. Mm -mm. First of all, just no, period. Don't throw trash down. I will come at you. Number two, you're going to get us banned. You're going to stop letting us go over there. They're already trying. A week or so ago, a lady had her kids with her. Wasn't even really that late. She was just in the cemetery playing Pokemon on her phone. The cops roll up. Yelling at her, terrifying, terrorizing her children. They throw the lights on her. I can't say if they pulled guns or not. I don't want to put that out there on record without knowing for fact. But I know I've had a gun pulled on me before just for playing Pokemon. In a church parking lot, no less. The cops here are... Whoo, buddy. They're not great. Where is the damn museum? Ah, okay. We have to find it. It should be right here. What? Here it is. Did I see it a minute ago and just was so oblivious that I walked past it? So I was so caught up in my thoughts. Might there be something with which I can assist you? Yes, I would love to donate what I have left. Alright, we have Amber Dinosaur Track. I think we've donated Amber before. And the dinosaur track. All right. Well, you know, it happens. I gotta check and make sure the audio is good on this. This episode might sound a bit loud, and then again, it might be too soft. I don't know how it's gonna turn out because it looks like it's clipping a little bit when I look down to OBS. I hope not. Alright, we'll check the amber. Dang it! We know it's me. I'm the only human in town. The other villagers don't know how to donate the squat. They just take it home and put it in their house. Which, you know what, I found a fossil before and it's still here with me. I still have it. I haven't turned it into any museums either. So I don't guess I have the right to say anything now, do I? It belongs in a museum. <laughs> Even run-of-the-mill common fish, you jerk. <laughs> We see you caught something that... No, 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 that's it. Right, let's go have a look. We did a poor job. I guess if we had played every day, we would have finished her up. And of course, over the course of other Animal Crossing games, they add more, so... Caught a few things. Yeah, the aquariums get way bigger. The fossil collections get bigger. We eventually start catching sharks and things. Big fish. And I'm not too worried about insects because we didn't play over the summer months.
All right, I guess that's it. I mean, for our Animal Crossing experience with the GameCube version, at least. Um, I had fun playing it, from what I can remember of the, uh, what was it, seven episode set I did before playing other things, and, um, I was really struggling to find content and find the desire to make content towards our, you know, towards the ending of my first year. Um, a lot of that content is poorly made, the audio is horrible, you can tell that a lot of those videos were rushed. Like, um, what's it called? The Soul Calibur. The audio was terrible. I looked at that yesterday. You can't hear the game. Well, the game's not loud enough. And, um, my voice was too loud. So, a lot of that content was rushed. And Animal Crossing was not rushed. I, I actually sat down every day and looked forward to playing Animal Crossing and had a blast doing it. And then got busy doing other things. And, um... Like I said, it dawned on me, hey, you haven't exactly finished it up. Let's uh, do one more episode to go out on. And um, that's why we're here today. Um, but I guess we'll go listen to K.K. Slider. He's a very important character. Um, he's like one of my all-time favorite characters. I love him. And uh, we're just going to listen to some music by K.K. Slider. And I'll see you guys in the next Animal Crossing that we play. See ya, folks. Now, 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 now